Welcome back to Vegas, baby. Lisa Martin here with theCUBE. We are live at Caesars Forum covering Snowflake Summit 22. This is day two of our wall-to-wall -wall coverage on theCUBE you won't want to miss. We've got an exciting customer story to talk to you about next with Novartis and Snowflake. Please welcome two guests to theCUBE, Loic Giron, Global Head Delivery, Global Head Digital Delivery Novartis. I hope I got the name right. Yes, hi, thank I you. I did my best. Absolutely. <laughs> Jesse Cugliata also joins us, Global Industry Lead Healthcare and Life Sciences at Snowflake. Welcome to theCUBE, gentlemen. Thank you for having us, good morning. So it was great to hear, Novartis is a household word now, especially with what's gone on in the last two years. Uh, I had a chance to see the keynote yesterday, heard Novartis mention in terms of a massive outcome that Snowflake is delivering that we're going to get to. But Lilbert, talk to us about Novartis, Global 500 organization. You rank among the world's top companies investing in R&D, with a massive portfolio, and you're reaching nearly 800 million patients worldwide. That's huge, but there's been a lot of change in the healthcare and life sciences industry, especially recently. Talk to us about the industry landscape. What are you seeing? So, I mean, as you as you described, I think Novartis is one of the top uh, life science company in the world. We are number three. Uh, we operate in 150 countries, and we have almost 120,000 employees. Um, um, we actually, our purpose is actually to reimagine medicine through the use of data science and technology and to extend people's life. And, and we really mean it. I think as you mentioned, uh, we treat 800 million patients uh, per year with our drugs and we, we um, expect to treat more than a billion patients in near time soon. So um, over the last few years, I mean, especially during COVID, um, our transformation, our digital transformation helped us to accelerate the, the drug discovery and then the commercialization of our drug to markets. Um, as it was mentioned in the keynote yesterday, um, we have actually been able to reduce our time to market. Uh, it used to take us up to 12 years and, and cost around $1.2 billion to, uh, to discover and commercialize drug. And, and now we've actually used of technology like Snowflake, we have been able to reduce by two to three years, which ultimately is a benefit for our patients. Absolutely, well we're talking about life and death situations. Talk about, you mentioned Novartis wants to reimagine medicine. What does that look like? Where is data in that? And how is Snowflake an enabler of reimagining medicine? So data is a core. And it's a core of our asset. It's a core of enterprise process. So if you look at our, our enterprise, we are using data from the research, through drug development, in the manufacturing process, and how do we um, market and sell our product through HCPs and distributors to, uh, to reach our patients. Um, if you build uh, through our digital transformation, we have created this integrated data ecosystem where Snowflake is a core component. And through that ecosystem, we are able to identify compounds and cohorts, um, perform clinical trials, and, and engage HCPs and HCOs so they can prescribe our drugs to serve our patient needs. Jesse, let's bring you into the conversation. Snowflake recently launched its healthcare and life sciences data cloud. I believe that was back in March, it just was. a couple of months ago. Talk to us about the vertical focus. Talk to us about what this healthcare and life sciences data cloud is aiming to help customers like Novartis achieve. Well, as you mentioned there, Snowflake has made a, a real pivot to kind of focus on the various different industries that we serve in a new way. I think historically, we've been engaged in, in really all of the industries across the major sectors where we participate today. Uh, but historically, we've been often engaging with the office of IT. Uh, and you know, there was a recognition as a company uh, that, that we really need to be able to better speak the language of, of our customers in with their respective industries. So the entire organization has really made a pivot to, to start to build that capability internally. That's part of the team that I support here at Snowflake. Um, <clears throat> and with respect to healthcare and life sciences, you know, that means being able to solve some of the challenges that Loic was just speaking about. Um, you know, in, in particular, we're seeing the industry evolve in a number of ways. Um, you bring up clinical research and the time that it takes to actually bring a drug to market. This is a big one that's really changed a lot uh, over the last couple of years. Um, some of the reasons are, are obvious and other ones are somewhat opportunistic. You know, when we looked at what it takes to get a drug to market. There's, there's several stages of clinical research uh, that, that have to be participated in, and this can often take years. Uh, what we saw in the last couple of years is that all of a sudden, patients didn't want to physically participate in those anymore uh, because there was you know, fear of potential infection and being in a healthcare facility. Uh, so the entire industry realized that, that it needed to change in terms of the way that it would engage with patients in that context. And we're now seeing this concept of decentralized clinical research. Um, and with that, you know, becomes the need to potentially involve many different types of organizations beyond the traditional pharma, their research partners. Uh, but we're starting to see organizations like 
retail pharmacies, like big box retailers who have either healthcare delivery or pharmaceutical arms, actually get involved in the process. And of course, one of the core things that happens here is that everyone needs a better way to collaborate and share data amongst one another. So bringing this back to your original question, you know, this, is, this concept of being able to do exactly that is core to the healthcare and the life sciences data cloud, to be able to collaborate and share data amongst those different types of organizations. Collaboration and data sharing, it seems to me to be a differentiator for Snowflake in terms of being able to deliver secure, governed, uh, powerful analytics and data sharing to customers, to partners, to the ecosystem. You mentioned an example of the ecosystem there and how, how impactful to patients' lives that collaboration and data sharing can be. That's absolutely right. You know, it's, it's something that, um, if you think about all of the major challenges that the industry has had historically, whether it is you know, high costs, whether it are health inequities, whether it is physicians practicing defensive medicine or repeat testing, um, the, you know, what's core to each one of these things is kind of the inability to adequately collaborate and share data amongst all of the different players. So the industry has been waiting for the capability or for some sort of solution to be able to do this, I think, for a long, long time. Um, and, and this is probably one of the most exciting parts of the conversations that we have with our customers is when they realize that this is possible. And not only that it's possible within our platform, but that most of the organizations that they work with today are also Snowflake customers. So they realize that everyone's already here. It's just a matter of who else we, can we work with and how do we get started? Join the party. Exactly. Look, yeah. talk to us about Novartis's data journey. I know you guys have been, I believe, using Snowflake since 2017, pre-pandemic, but you had a largely on-premises infrastructure. Talk to us about the decision of Novartis to go to the cloud, do it securely, and why you chose to partner with Snowflake. So when we started our journey in 2018, I think the ambition that our CEO was to transform all enterprise processes for the use of digital tech. And at the core of this digital tech is a data foundation. Um, so we started with a, a large program called Formula One, which aimed to integrate all our internal and external data assets into an integrated platform. And, and through that, I think we've, we've built this multi-cloud and, and best of breed um, platform where Snowflake is a core component. And we've been able to integrate um, almost a thousand data assets, external and external, um, through the platform to be able to accelerate the, uh, the use of data to create insights for our users. Um, in that transformation, we've realized that Snowflake was, could be a core component because of the scalability and the performance of, uh, with large data sets. And, and, and moreover, uh, when uh, Snowflake started to actually open collaboration through their marketplace, we've been able to uh, integrate new data sets that are um, publicly available at a place that we could not do on ourselves um, on our own. So that is a core component of what we are trying to do. Yeah, and I think that's a great example of, of, of really what we're talking about here is that, you know, he's mentioning that they're going out to our marketplace to be able to integrate data more easily with some of the vendors there. And, and it, that is kind of this, this concept of the healthcare and life sciences data cloud realized where all of a sudden acquiring and bringing data in and making it ready for analysis becomes much faster, much easier. Um, and you know, we're, we're, we, you know <laughs> we, we continually see more and more vendors coming to us saying, I get it now, I want in. You know, who else can I work with in this space? Um, so I think that's a perfect example of how this starts to become real for folks. Well, it sounds like the marketplace has been an enabler, Loic, of the expansion of use cases. This is, you've grown this beyond drug development. I read that you're developing new products and services for healthcare providers to personalize treatments for patients, which we all are demanding patients, right? We want that personalized care. But talk about the marketplace as a facilitator of those expanding use cases that Snowflake is powering. Yes, I mean, we have currently almost 65 use cases in production and we are in advanced progress for another 200 use cases. And, and they go across all the, um, our business uh, sector. Right? So if, if you look at um, um, drug development, we are monitoring our clinical trials using Snowflake. If you look at our um, omnichannel marketing, we are looking at personalization of information with our HCPs and HCOs using Snowflake. If you look at our manufacturing process, we are looking at yet man management, freight optimization, inventory, insight. And so almost across all the in industry sectors that we have, I think we are using the platforms to be able to deliver faster information to our users. And that's what we all want, faster information. Nobody, I think in the pandemic we learned that access to real-time data in every industry wasn't a nice to have. That was <laughs> a, a necessity. The absolute necessity. Yeah. And that was made the difference for companies that survived and thrived and those that didn't. 
That's something that we learned. But we also learned that the, the, the volume of data just continues to proliferate. Look, you've been in the industry a couple of decades. What do you see, and you've got obviously this great foundation now with Snowflake, you've got 65 use cases, you said, in production. What's the future of the data culture in healthcare and life sciences from your perspective? So my perspective, um, it is time now we give the access to our business technologies to be able to be self-sufficient using digital product. We need to consumerize the um, digital technology so they can be self-sufficient. Um, the, the amount of problem that we have to solve and we can now solve with new technology has never been there. And, and I think we are in a past where in the next few years that you will see an accelerated generation of insight and, and an accelerated process of medicine by empowering the business technologies to use a technology that likes Snowflake and other um, um, progress. What are your uh, thoughts, Loic, of some of the, obviously a lot of news coming out yesterday from Snowflake. We mentioned standing room only in the keynote. This, I believe, is north of 10,000 attendees. People are ready to, to engage in person with Snowflake. But some of the, the news coming out, what is your perspective? You've been a partner of theirs for a while. What, what do you see from Snowflake in terms of the news, the, the volume of customers it's adding, all that good stuff? I must say I was blown away yesterday when Frank was talking about uh, the ramp up of customers, you know, using Snowflake. I think, but also in, I think in, in uh, Benoit and Christian, then they talk about the innovation. When you look at uh, native application or you look at hybrid tables, these are things that and and the expansion of the marketplace uh, by monetization application. That, that is something that is is going to accelerate the expansion, not only on the company but the integration and the uh, utilization of customers and and to. Um, Jesse's point, I think that it is key that people collaborate using the platform. I think we want to collaborate with the suppliers and providers, and they want to collaborate with us, but we want to have a neutral environment where we can do that, and Snowflake can be that environment. And do it securely, right? Security of is course. I mean, absolutely that, that's really table, table stakes. stakes for this industry. And I think the, the point that you just made, Loic, is very important, is, is that um, you know, the biggest question that we're often asked by our customers is, is who else is a customer within this industry that I can collaborate with? I think, uh, as, as Loic will attest to, one of the challenges within, within life sciences in particular is that it is a highly regulated industry, it is a highly competitive industry, uh, and, and folks are, are very sensitive about referenceability, so about, you know, about things like logo usage. Um, so, you know, to, to give some ideas here, people often have no idea that we're working with 28 of the top 50 global pharma today, we're working with seven of the top 12 global medical device companies today, the largest CROs, the largest distributors. So when I say that the party is here, they, they really are, and that's why we're so excited to have events like these, because people can physically introduce themselves to one another and meet and actually start to engage in some of these more collaborative discussions uh, that they've been waiting for. Jesse, what's been some of the feedback uh, that you've heard the last couple of days on the healthcare and life sciences data cloud. You've obviously finally gotten back to engaging with customers in person, but what are some of the things the feet on the street have said that you've thought, We're, we made the absolute right decision on this pivot? Yeah, well, I think it, some of it speaks to the, the point I was just speaking about, is that they had no idea that so many of their peers were actually working with Snowflake already and that how, how mature their implementations have actually been. The other thing that folks are realizing is that a lot of the, the technologies that serve this ecosystem, whether they're in the health tech space, whether they are or clinical management or commercial engagement or supply chain planning technologies, those companies are also now pivoting to Snowflake, where they're either building a part or the entirety of their platform on top of ours. So it offers this great way to start to collaborate with the ecosystem through some of those capabilities that we spoke about. And that's driving new use cases in commercial, in supply chain, in pharmacovigilance, in, in clinical operations. Well, I think you just summed up beautifully why the theme of this conference is the world of data collaboration. Yes, absolutely. The potential yeah. there that Snowflake is unleashing to the world is, I think is what's, what's cap captivating to me that you just scratch on the surface about connecting and facilitating this collaboration and this data sharing in a secure way across industries. Loic, last question for you. Take us home with what is next for Novartis? You've done a tremendous amount of, of digitalization, 65 use cases in production with Snowflake. What's next for the company? I think that um, in the next years to come, open collaboration with the ecosystem, but also personalization. If you look at uh, digital medicine and, and uh, access to patients' information, you know. Um, I think this is probably the, the next um, revolution that we are entering into. Excellent, and of course those demanding patients aren't going to want anything slower or less information. Guys, thank you for joining me on the program talking about the Novartis Snowflake collaboration, the partnership, 
the outcomes that you're achieving and how this is really dramatically impacting the lives of hundreds of millions of people. We appreciate your time and your insights. Thank you for having us. This was fun. My pleasure. Thank you. For my guests, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE. This is live from Las Vegas, day two of our coverage of Snowflake Summit 22. I'll be right back with my next guest, so stick around.